Yes. Um, in the recent articles about your traveling, they talk an awful lot about you homeschooling Jack and Emma Claire. Right. There's a great homeschooling blogging community, and I'm wondering what experiences you've had on the road educating Jack and Emma Claire that will you know, help John address better education policies going forward? That's actually a great, great question. question. Uh, this afternoon, uh, at some point, I am uh, doing an interview with um, Christine from the, which I can remember her last name, but you know her, I just call her Christine, so I'm more last name, who posts on the Huffington Post, shows the posts on uh, a uh, modern blog, and she, um, uh, we're going to talk a lot about education, and particularly about this. So, uh, and I might ask her to, because she would have cross posted to several places. Like I might ask her to also cross post to a homeschool site as well. Um, and if you have any particular sites that you think would be particularly useful for that, if you let me know, I'll, uh, let somebody here know, I'll, I'll tell her that today. Um, the, uh, in, in North Carolina, in fourth grade, our, our daughter's in fourth grade, you study North Carolina history. Um, you know, we had uh, settlers come in from, uh, and, and land rolling on the island. My kids went out to Roanoke Island because they're homeschooled and they can do this. They went out to Roanoke Island and they camped. And they woke up in the morning to the kind of morning that a seven might have woke up to, you know, on, 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 the, uh, on the beach of Roanoke Island. That gave them a, a unique perspective on that. So when they talk about it, they, they, they have to visualize the place in their mind. We, uh, I think that one of the great things about, the, about this experience for the children has been has taken away the walls of the school and expanded the world for them okay, in terms of, of how they say they about learning. They, they, we live out on uh, an old farm uh, in, uh, uh, in Orange County in, in uh, North Carolina, and the kids have been uh, through the woods gathering leaves and uh, cataloging what plants are taking uh, molds of. Uh, Prints, right? Animal footprints, or uh, footprints, or whatever you call them, uh, uh, and figuring out what animals we have uh, on, on the property. Um, if they uh, the, the, found a beaver that had been uh, killed, and, and so then they, instead of removing it, they sort of watched what happened over a period of time as other animals fed on the beaver. And some of this may seem gross, but it's just these are the life lessons you're never going to get in school. Um, and uh, uh, it, it would be great if we had you know, one of these, like our kids will return to public school. Um, but one of the things that we think about when we do that is to find, find ways that you can get these, you can tear down the walls a little bit uh, for people. And honestly, you know, we're a family of means. And our children are going to have the capacity to travel and do those things. Um, but uh, maybe it's more incumbent on the public schools to provide these opportunities precisely because there are children who are not going to have those opportunities uh, available to them unless the public schools provide it. And some of them are easy. The, 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 the kids are not traveling with either.